Thank you all very much for attending our, our press briefing today. Our agenda will be that we will start with an update on what's been happening since Keithley became a Tektronics company and what that means for Keithley customers. We'll then discuss a little bit about the test and measurement industry uh, outlook on the TNM industry and the impact that that's had on the products that we are introducing today. And then finally, we'll have an overview of those new products and that will include the introduction schedule for all those. Okay. So, I think many of you uh, have a familiar face. I've been here a few times over the past two years since we became a Tektronics company. And you may remember the acquisition in 2010. Uh, both Keithley and Tektronics are major manufacturers in the test and measurement industry. There's over 100 years of history between both companies. So we'll take a little time to talk about where we're headed, what direction we're going now that we are one company. Um, the combined company, Tektronics and Keithley, is very strong. We have products that complement each other. They range from measuring nanovolts to gigahertz. So it's a very wide range, the widest range in test of measurement. And we have talked with our customers and listened to them, and they feel that the combined company is much stronger than the separate companies. And so you see we have a new logo. It says Keithley, a Tektronics company. You'll be seeing that logo for all our communications in the future. And uh, that reflects the strong brand that we now have as being part of Tektronics. So what we're beginning to do is have much more investment in R&D. So for example, this is the second, we were here six months ago to introduce some new products and here we are again introducing more new products. Uh, we are beginning to leverage our distribution channels, our sales channels. So more of your customers will now be able to see and hear and use Keithley Instruments. So, what we try to do is we really try to set the standard for customer support, for application knowledge, and we put this into our products. So, for example, we always look for ways to help our customers do their job better. We're very precise with our measurements, the best in the industry. And we, have, we try for very simple to use products because customers really want to focus on their jobs, not learning to use the equipment. That makes their jobs easier. Okay, so from a market view, what we find is that the spending forecasts for 2012 are significantly lower compared to one year ago. And that's that's important because that impacts the way your readers decide what kind of test equipment to purchase. Um, they always look at price and performance very carefully when they're considering instrument and system purchases. So here's just some examples where we see the uh, semiconductor capital equipment is forecast uh, to be down compared to last year. Test equipment semiconductor ATE forecast to be down and this is an important one this is federal funding government spending for research and development so all those indicators are, are, are showing us that this year uh, spending will be a little bit lower than last year so what you'll see in the products that we're introducing is we have a very important focus on price versus performance 
and the value that we bring the customer. So <clears throat> here are some key considerations that customers have when they choose test equipment. One is that the buying just what they need today. So customers ask, why should they use, why should they pay for capabilities that they may not use? Um, yet at the same time, they often look for a wider selection of models from which to choose from. Now those two things may seem opposite, but yet they're very related. Since uh, budgets are very tight, they want to make us a, a good purchase and be able to use for the future. So they're still thinking about future applications when they make the purchase today. They also want to have good flexibility. So they want to reuse equipment in other applications. They want to repurpose it to be used maybe in a different department or to test a different device uh, or a different manufacturing line, for example. And they also want very quick results. They want instruments that are easier to use and that offer higher speed and more capability. So, I mean, a good example of this uh, value that we are providing is with our, S our source meter SMU instruments. Our 2600 series has many advanced features for high-speed production. So, for example, uh, LG Innotech or uh, Samsung will use our products on their production lines. Now, there are many R&D engineers at those companies that need the same quality measurement performance but do not need the very high-speed automation capabilities. So that's an example of customers that have asked us for something a little bit more specific to their application. So here's a list of the new products that we are going to talk about today. We have three new source meter SMU instruments that are optimized and priced for benchtop R&D applications. In addition, we are upgrading our whole line of 2600 series models to B versions. So we'll talk about those. Those are being released today, this week. There's also a new five and a half digit multimeter, it's a DMM. This is a very important product that's also being released this week. We have for release in October two brand new power supplies. These are multiple channel DC power supplies. There's also in October a dual channel pico ammeter with a voltage source. This product can source a voltage and measure the very small amounts of current pico ammeter, uh, uh, pico amps, which are very important for research applications. And then finally, later in October, we have uh, seven configurations of what we're calling parametric curve tracer. That's, that's a new category that combines capabilities of parametric testing for semiconductors with curve tracing capabilities. And these are configurable solutions that the customer can choose from. So we'll talk about those also. So you'll see that there are different release dates for these different models. But we'll introduce all of them to you today and then you will receive additional information in the coming weeks. So we'll start with our series 2600B source meter SMU instruments. Um, these, these instruments are really from a lot of good voice of customer research that we've been doing over the past few years since we've introduced the line. So what we have are new models that increase productivity in a variety of applications from R&D to production. 
The source meters are used in many applications in electronic manufacturing companies, in universities, in research areas, in semiconductor companies, in electronic component companies. Many of your readers use source meters and can use source meters for DC current voltage testing. What we did for our new models is really added important capabilities. So there's a six and a half digit display on the front panel and over the bus. It can communicate to a computer over USB. And then <coughs> importantly, there's software command emulation for Keithley's Model 2400 source meter SMU instrument. That's a very popular version that was introduced in about 1995. And there's many, many users of Model 2400 that are looking to upgrade to the Model 2600, and this will make that easier for them. In addition, it's fully backward compatible with our Series 2600A. So for example, um, there's our browser-based graphical user interface that enables true plug-and-play capability for doing current and voltage characterization applications. Then there's our test script processor technology for unmatched system speed. And also our TSP link, which enables multiple channel parallel test. So these were all capabilities that were there in our A version that are going to continue for our B versions. So it truly is fully backward compatible with A version. So in addition to the upgrades that we've made for the 2600Bs, we've created three new models that are designed for benchtop applications. Now many of these customers <coughs> for these products need the precision measurements but do not need all the system level automation features that are in the other 2600B series. So <clears throat> these three models really are focused here where the customer needs to maintain Keithley performance but fit a tighter budget that these R&D departments often have now. So <clears throat> for our six new models of A version, this is, these are some examples of the, the new capabilities. So there's the six and a half digit display. This enables an industry best current resolution of 0 0.1 femtoamp. That's 100 times better than the closest competitor. And this is very important for customers working in research or electronics industry so that they can see smaller changes in their device and get a more accurate characterization. We talked about the software emulation of, the, of the, our Model 2400 to 2600B. That becomes very important where customers have many Model 2400s installed in production test systems. An example is from a beta customer we had where he took a Model 2600B and replaced his Model 2400. Now he was in the aerospace industry and so uh, configuration control and correlation of measurements and precision measurements are very important. He was able to drop the 2600B into the test rack and immediately see an 80% improvement in his overall test time. And his measurements were a little bit better and he was able to go faster. So he was very happy. What he also saw was that he, had a, he now had a migration path from SCPI programming that the Model 2400 does to our TSP technology, which goes much faster than SCPI. 
So the important point for this customer was he could upgrade to model 2600B today and get an 80% improvement in test time and then still use the product for the future and use TSP technology to go even faster. So it's a good example of what we're trying to do to focus on today's customers' needs. Okay. As I mentioned, the 2600B series carries all the key features of 2600As. One of these important key features, especially for R&D users, is our unique browser-based graphical user interface. This enables true plug-and-play current voltage characterization. So anytime a customer needs to characterize a semiconductor device or a material or some other electronic component or, or subsystem, he can, he can use the, our browser-based GUI. We're the only supplier of a SMU instrument that has this. Basically, he can <clears throat> do his full test from any PC using any browser from anywhere in the world. He opens his browser and types in the IP address of the instrument. From there, he can run full characterization of his device under test and easily download to Excel with one button click. Then he can share his results with others in his company. Okay, another new product we're introducing today is our model 2110 dual display digital multimeter. As you know, DMMs are used in many applications by many customers. What we did was we surveyed many of our customers and what they asked for was a, a DMM with a little bit less resolution, still lots of good features at a much lower price point. So it was important for them to not sacrifice any accuracy or any capability that they're used to from Keefley Instruments. So what we did was we created the Model 2110. These are for customers typically in R&D, in university labs, in research centers, and some production areas where low cost is very important. So I think this is a good example of a product for today's customer who's very focused on value, on price performance before he makes a decision. So we're offering very high performance capabilities now at five and a half digit resolution. One of the main points is that really this is a this is an unbeatable value. At under six hundred dollars US for a USB version, that's a that's a that's a price point that this kind of performance has just not been previously available. This product is two times more accurate and ten times faster than the leading competitor. It has front panel thermocouple input. See, there's a connector for a thermocouple to just plug right in and make temperature measurements. Very important for R&D benchtop users, and that makes it very easy for them to do. Some other important functions are capacitance measurement and to be able to measure high currents up to 10 amps. Finally, there's a built-in memory buffer. The product is USB compliant and it also has some software for the user if he wants to easily make PC based measurements. So the combination of all these capabilities really has not yet been available at these kind of prices. So here's an example of the front panel and so you see the dual line display, the easy to use functions, the thermocouple input. Another very important point is that this product has what we call four-wire ohms measurement. 
That's for resistance measurement. Typically at this price, the, the models would only have two wire measurements. Four wire provides much more accuracy because it compensates for any losses in the test leads and provides a much more accurate measurement. So again, for the R&D customers, for university guys, for student labs, this can be a very important kind of feature. Is our Series 2200 multi-channel programmable DC power supplies? Now here, we're sharing this information with you today, but really this, the content here for the power supplies is uh, em embargo until October 8th. So last year, we introduced single channel versions of these power supplies. Now we're expanding to offer multi-channel power supplies. This is important because many R&D engineers power b uh, need in their designs have both analog and digital circuits that they need to power up. Okay? This is very important for universities and, and students as well. So in addition to uh, the single channel, we now have the dual channel. So here's our two new models. One is a dual channel model. You see on the display it shows two channels. And then the other is a three channel version. And you see on the display, it shows three channels. Now, both of these products are very aggressively priced. They're priced where typical single channel power supplies are priced. So these both have two 45 watt channels, can output 30 volts at up to 1.5 amps. This is typically important for powering analog circuits. In addition, the triple channel supply adds another 30 watt, 6 volt, 5 amp supply typically used to power a digital circuit. So these two products offer higher power than other competitive products on the market today. They're USB controlled for an easy interface on a researcher's bench. And one of the important points is that they display all the information on both, on, on, on all the channels. So you can see here, channel one is set for 15 volts and it says 0.8 amps. Uh, channel two, you can read the voltage and current. And even with the three channel, you can see the voltage and current for all the channels. That's an important and unique capability for these products that makes them very easy to use. Okay, So here are some more details about some of the features and some of the benefits. The important point is that these multi-channel power supplies are at this new aggressive price point and they enable more kinds of circuits and electronic sub-assemblies to be tested. Many customers use the power supplies with the DMMs. So we expect the Model 2110 DMM to be used a lot with these new power supplies. Okay. Now our fourth new product, again, it, it, it will be publicly released on October 15th, is our new Model 6482 dual channel picoammeter voltage source. This has a, also has a low price point that makes it a good choice for applications that require low current measurements simultaneously. So this is dual channel. The voltage source provides a 30 volt voltage source. So cu customers can source up to 30 volts and measure very low currents, which is very typical in a lot of research materials, semiconductor, uh, optoelectronic applications. So here, the 
Here's a picture of the, of the product. And you can see it being used in a lab type application setting. It's really designed for low current applications in these kind of, of, of test use cases. It contains, one, one of the Model 6482 contains two precision voltage sources and two single channel picoammeters. So it really has twice the density in a bench instrument and offers a much lower cost of ownership. So this is going to be important in addition to uh, researchers and student labs and R&D people, but also larger companies that make big research equipment like scanning electron microscopes, beam monitoring equipment, and other very high-end research tools that are used in many government research facilities. So again, here for reference, I think everyone has a printed version of this slide that just describes some of the features, key features and benefits. So you see the main focus is easier to use. It conserves rack space or bench space because it's smaller. And that reduces the cost of test and the cost of ownership. Very low current measurements, as low as one femtoamp. <coughs> it has two channels of voltage source capabilities. It has analog output, which many researchers use this to transmit measurement results in real time. Often they'll connect that to an oscilloscope or to a strip chart recorder to have a, a, a printout of their measurement. So these are all very important productivity enhancing features that this product has. So here is our, for, uh, our solution for high power semiconductor device characterization. Now this is a, a product configuration we're calling parametric curve tracer. Now this will be publicly announced October 22nd. So this is, uh, again, this is an advanced notice about this product. Okay. Yeah, so Okay, so we've talked with a lot of power device manufacturers over the past two years. Many of you remember earlier this year we launched a high voltage source meter SMU instrument. Last year we, we launched a high current version and now <coughs> Many customers are asking us for a combined total solution. So this is an example uh, of voice of customer. So this is a, a, a day in the life of a R&D engineer making some power semiconductor device. So <clears throat> typically there's some design work that gets done. Then there will be some experimental testing with little sub-circuits or design elements. And engineers have typically used curve tracers to do this capability. Right? Here's an example of an old Tektronix curve tracer. Then they would debug and use that curve tracer as an important tool. <clears throat> Once they feel their design is complete, they would fabricate the device in the semiconductor fab. Then they would do some sample testing test one or two devices to determine if the function, if it functions as it should. And there again, they would use a curve tracer, but now they do much more testing. So they would use a SMU instrument or oscilloscope, maybe an infrared camera, maybe do some EMF analysis. So they do a much more testing here. And once they're satisfied, they would do a qualification run, first article run for production and then do some long-term, some life testing. And here they would test hundreds of parts for a long time to be sure that the reliability is there and that the products do what they say. 
And here they would often use a SMU instrument or a semiconductor parametric analyzer, which you see here. This is a Keekley Model 4200 parametric analyzer. So once they are confident with that, then they would move to production. So our, our new product today looks at all this, all this work that the engineer has to do, and we can actually address this with our new parametric curve tracer because it combines capabilities of the curve tracer and the parametric analyzer. So, um, so we will be making available different configurations of our, of our curve, uh, parametric curve tracer. So it's really a unique product offering in, in the industry. There's nothing like this. So they're fully configurable configurations. So we can have something as small as a single SMU instrument, and you see pictures here. So this is a test fixture that we introduced earlier this year for high voltage and high current. These are our high voltage and high current source meter SMU instruments. And here's a low power 2600B series. And of course, everything is tied together with our ACS software. So the user interface is through the PC and the software. And he can combine and configure different solutions based on how much testing he needs to do. And this is important because now, by adding or taking away an SMU instrument, he can then repurpose his, his solution for other applications. Or if he needs to do more in the future, his system can easily grow with him.